to my channel and welcome to another episode of Style Jack. If you have never heard of this before, it is my celebrity style recreation series where I recreate a celebrity look from hair, makeup, and outfit all at an affordable price. I do these videos about once a month, so let me know in the comments which celebrity you guys would like me to Style Jack next. But for today's episode, I am Style Jacking Blake Lively from the People's Choice Awards this year. She had this beautiful, effortless look with her makeup and her hair, and then her dress was this gorgeous gorgeous sparkly black dress with lace and fringe and then she wore these pointy black heels so that is the look I'm going to recreate for you guys in today's video and in this video I am using all drugstore products and they are all cruelty free so if you guys are interested in how to recreate this look then just keep on watching if you guys are new to my channel hi I'm Jackie or you can call me Jack Jack make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos I upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday so three times a week Monday Mondays are going to, this is going to start as of next week, so Mondays are going to be my basic Mondays. They're all going to be beginner friendly how to makeup videos, so if you do have a request for a basic Monday video, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Wednesdays is hair day, so I'll do hair tutorials for you guys, and then Friday is my free for all videos, which could be anything, chit chat, get ready with me videos, favorites videos, review videos, first impression all that kind of fun stuff. So if those sound like the videos that you like watching, then make sure you subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this Style Jacked episode. So to start off, I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm actually gonna use my foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the shade Bronze Beige. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put it on the back of my hand and then pick up my Beauty Blender and pick up a little bit of that product and go ahead and start bouncing it onto my eyelid and even underneath. I actually learned this trick when watching Desi Perkins' new video with celebrity makeup artist Patrick Ta. Um, he used foundation on the eyelids first. And the reason he does that is because once he's done with the eyes and he moves on to the face, the eye just kind of naturally blends in with the rest of the face and the foundation that we use for our face. So that is what I am doing today. To set the foundation on my eyes, I'm going to take my powder. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Warm Beige. And I'm going to take that on a Sonia Kashuk um, brush. This is from the Holiday Collection. I just like that it's very dense and stiff. So I'm going to use that, pick up some product, and just set the foundation that I just placed on my eye. And then we can move on with the eyeshadows. For the eyeshadows today, I am going to use the NYX California Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the packaging looks like. It's so cool and like colorful with all the geometric shapes and stuff. And here are what the colors in the palette look like. So we're going to stick with like the orange and browns and golds in here. We're not going to touch like the super, super dark shades or that blue in there, but just like the warm, bronzy, golden colors. I'm going to start off by taking this soft matte brown eyeshadow right here on a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend this into my crease just to add some definition and get us started with this eyeshadow look. You guys know whenever I start eyeshadow looks I like to start with the kind of transition color or like just a soft brown natural color that I can add into the crease and that kind of just helps me get started with any eyeshadow look that I do. You're going to notice with this eyeshadow look everything is just very nice and blended there's nothing precise about this particular eyeshadow look. That way you don't really see where a color begins and ends. I'm going to take a mixture of this orange shade and this gold shade on a fluffy blending brush like this and I'm going to work that into my crease. So the orange color in this palette wasn't as pigmented as I was hoping for. I really wanted it to pop a lot more but we're just going to work with what we got and make it happen. You'll notice that um, a lot of times if you look at Blake Lively's makeup look Looks, um, no matter like what occasion it is she usually has a lot of shimmer on her eyelid and I think the reason either her or her makeup artist does that is because she does have smaller eyes so when you stick with matte shadows it's going to actually make your eyes appear smaller shimmer will enhance your eyes and make them stand out and pop a lot more so I think that's why she tends to stick with shimmery eyeshadows so that is why I chose to work with shimmer shadows today 
So as you can tell, I am like being pretty messy and sloppy with this crease color and I'm kind of flicking it out here towards the outer part of my eye as well. First off, the reason I am messily applying this is because again, we want it to be super blended and very seamless so you don't really see where the colors start and end. And then the reason I'm flicking it out is to kind of elongate my eyes because Blake Lively does have pretty long eyes, so and I have pretty short eyes, so we want to create the illusion that our eyes are a lot longer like hers. To add some depth to the eyes, I'm going to take this reddish brown shade right here. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that and work that on the outer part of my eye. So I'm going to first dab it right here on the outer part, just like that. So it's going on the lid, and then I'm also going to take it into the outer crease as well and then flick it out here. So I'm going to intensify that and then go over it with that orange shade, the orange and gold shade again. So with that blending brush, just kind of blend over it and soften everything so again you can't tell where the shadow begins and ends. And if you need to go back and intensify that color, go ahead and do so. Just keep going back and forth. This is going to be one of those effortless kind of looks, but you actually sat here for a good like 15, 20 minutes blending everything out. Blending is key with this Blake Lively look. With a small pencil brush like this, I'm gonna go in with this brown shade here at the top. It's a darker chocolate brown. I'm gonna pick up just a tiny bit of that and focus this just on this outer part of the eye. Again, this is just gonna add more depth, dimension, a subtle smokiness to the eye. And again, go in with that blending brush and the gold and orange shade again, just going back and forth between those. And I'm going to brush that right on top. For the lid color, I'm gonna take my finger and this shimmery champagne color. It has a slight peachy champagne tone to it. I'm going to just press that onto my lid with my finger. Again, it's probably no surprise now. I'm sure you're picking up the pattern with this look, but once we lay a color down, I'm gonna go back in with that brush with the orange and gold shade on it and blend it out. With the lightest shade in the palette right here at the top, I'm gonna to take that on a little fluffy brush like this and add that to the brow bone as the brow bone highlight. So I wanna focus it right here where the arch is Concentrate that color right there and then blend it downward and out. I'm also going to add it to the inner corner of my eye as well. Surprise, surprise, going back in with that fluffy brush to blend everything in. And before we go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the eyebrows. So for the brows, I'm gonna use an eyebrow pencil. This is from Ardell, I was about to say Adele. This is from Ardell and it's in the shade Blonde. So looking at Blake Lively's eyebrows, they are very soft and very natural. So with my brows, I tend to kind of make them a little more sharp and defined, but with this look, we want it to be very soft, kind of messy, that natural bushy brow look. So I'm gonna take the pencil, which is angled like this, and it also has a little spoolie on the other end. I'm gonna take the angled part of the brush and just start flicking it up. So if you watch many of my other tutorials, you know that this is not typically how I fill in my brows. I usually draw them on, but for this, we're not gonna do any drawing motion. It's all going to be flicking up like this. Even for this tail end, I usually keep it very sharp and skinny here, but we're actually going to make it fuller here at the end. I'll draw a little bit like that, and then go back to the flicking motions. Also with Blake Lively's eyebrows, they looked very powdered down almost, so to soften the tone of my brows, I'm gonna take my pressed powder again and the same brush I used to set my eyelids. I am going to just tap this onto my brows since my brows are a lot darker than Blake Lively's. So now we can finish up the eyes and I'm going to line the eyes with the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner looks like this. So I'm gonna line my eyes and create a slight subtle wing because if you look super, super closely, it looks like she has a little baby wing going on with this look. So I normally do a bigger wing than this, but we're gonna keep it a nice little baby wing for today. 
So moving on to lashes, I'm going to go in with my Ardell Lash Lookbook. I got this during the holiday time. I'm going to take the 110 lashes that look like this. So I'm going to first lay the lash down to see how much I need to cut off. So as you can see, it kind of extends past my eyes. So I'm going to pinch the part where it's like too long. And so then I can take my little scissors and cut right where I'm holding. So now it should fit perfectly on the eye. So I'm going to use eyelash glue and the eyelash glue I'm using is from Kiss Products. This is the Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe and it is in clear. I like this one because it's like a little stick applicator and I feel like this is so much easier to work with. Plus it dries so fast, you don't need to use as much product. I feel with like the duo, duo adhesive, you have to use a little more product for it to actually stick and hold. So I like to hold my lash with tweezers and then allow it to dry for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then once it's dry, I'll go ahead and place it onto my lash line. I start off by placing it in the middle first and I kind of wiggle it down into my lashes. And then I will use my tweezers to adjust the outer corner and then the inner corner as well and make sure everything is nice and secure. Now for mascara, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. I'm gonna apply a few coats to the lashes because without mascara, they are just way too natural for this look. So I wanna intensify these lashes. So I'm going to add a few coats of this mascara. So I'm gonna go in with some individual lashes from Ardell. I'm going to apply five to six lashes on top of the fake lashes that I already applied. And this is just gonna help add some more volume volume to our lashes. So now that we have our lashes on, I'm going to go back in with the California palette from NYX and I'm going to take a mixture of basically all the colors we've been using. The orange, the gold, this little reddish brown here. I'm going to take all of those colors on this little flat definer brush and I'm going to run that on my lower lash line and just kind of smoke out these colors. Although I'm mixing all the colors together, I am focusing the darkness on the outer part. So towards this inner corner, I'm going to mix the orange and the gold, and then on the outer part, I'll grab a little more of this darker brown and run that just right there. You can even mix this reddish brown with this chocolate brown here and just add that right there. And then with my finger, I'm going to take some of the gold and then also some of that light color that we use as the highlight. And I'm just going to drag that right here on the inner corner of my lower lash line just to add a little bit of a pop and shimmer right there. And then finishing off, I'm going to add a few coats of the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara to my lower lashes. We don't want anything too harsh with the lower lash mascara, so I'm actually just going to take my finger and just push up on the lower lashes and it makes them not as long and spiky. It kind of makes them a little more natural looking. So then you're gonna have mascara on your fingers like that. So that's it for the eyes. So I'll go ahead and zoom you out and we can finish up the rest of the face. So now moving on to the face, I'm gonna start off by taking the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm Stick. This is really hydrating and perfect if you have dry or textured skin. So I'm gonna start off by just dragging this on my face and then I'm going to blend it in with my clean fingers. Make sure you're using clean fingers before touching your face and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX First Base. This is a primer spray. So I'm just gonna shake this up and then spray it onto my face. So for foundation, I already mentioned it, but I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's the same one that I use on my eyes to prime them. I am going to take this and just kind of smear it on my face like that and then blend it in with my beauty blender. So for the skin, we're going for, you know, obviously a very flawless finish just like Blake Lively's skin, but we want it to be natural and not too heavy and cakey. So that's why I like using the beauty blender because it really just pushes the product into the skin and helps it look just so natural and flawless. We can definitely go back and add some more layers for that extra coverage, but overall we want to keep the look very light and natural. Now for concealer, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Light Ivory, which usually is a little too light for me, so um, crossing my fingers that I'm able to make this work, but I'm going to put it on the back of my hand first and then go in with my Beauty Blender, which is still damp. I'm going to take a little bit of that and then just place this right underneath my eyes and any other parts we want to highlight 
to kind of recreate the same Blake Lively look. I'm gonna tap this on the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, and this space right here between my brows. And I'm just looking at a picture of Blake Lively here on the side for reference. To set the under eyes, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder, I think that's the name. I'll have the exact name and everything like that listed below. But this is just a really fine powder. I really love this powder so much. Once you set this on the under eyes, it just smooths out everything and just makes it look so perfect. So I'm just gonna take the Morphe E10 brush and pick up this powder. And I'm just going to place it underneath my eye like this. I typically apply this pretty messy at first and then I go in later to kind of clean it up. But I'm just pressing and laying the powder down right now. And you can also do this with your beauty blender as well. And that's going to also help it blend a lot better. And now to set everything, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Warm Beige. And I'm just going to take it on the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Just going to pick this up. And instead of buffing this powder into the skin, I'm just going to tap it into the skin. And this is just going to help build the coverage and it's not going to smudge or move around all the cream product that we just placed on our skin. So like um, the concealer and the foundation, it's going to keep it all in place and just lock it down. And what I really like about this pressed powder is that it does give you a little bit of coverage. So say you have like a problem area that didn't quite get covered up with your foundation or concealer, you can take your powder and just kind of build that coverage right on that spot. I am so impressed with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus line. If you guys haven't tried it yet, highly recommend you do. It is crazy affordable. I think the foundation is only six bucks. It's crazy. I did a first impression review on it, so I will leave it linked in the cards if you guys want to check that out. Now to bronze up and contour my face, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzer Duo. This is in St. Lucia. Looks like that. I'm going to be using the blush and the bronzer from this palette, but I'm going to start off with the bronzer. I'm just going to pick that up on a brush, a big fluffy brush like this, and I'm going to sculpt out my cheeks. I'm actually going to look at a picture of Blake Lively again. So she does have some bronzer on her cheek contour area, but it's nothing too heavy. She really just uses the bronzer to warm up her face, not to do any harsh contour. So that's why I'm not making it super sharp. I'm just literally warming up the face with this bronzer. The sides of the nose for sure. Actually, I feel like I should probably use a smaller brush for this. I'm going to take a blending brush and work with this nose contour. So I connected the nose contour to the front part of my eyebrow like this. And that's just going to extend the like bridge of our nose like even higher up here. So it just it's going to make our nose look taller. And if you have a really flat nose like I do, like look how flat this is. <laughs> if you have a flat nose, this is a little trick you can do. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Um, illuminating palette. It looks it looks like this. I'm going to take this light shade right here on another blending brush where she has like the high points of her face, like the light parts. So her nose turns up a little bit, so I'm going to place this on my nose like so. My nose will never look like Blake Lively's, that's okay, but we're just trying to create the same effect. That's all we're doing with makeup. Now I'm going to take that same highlight powder that we were using for the nose. I'm going to take that on the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. I'm just going to take that and start highlighting the points of my face that I want to. So obviously the cheekbones and I'm bringing it down by the sides of my nose as well. And for blush, I'm going to just use the same brush that we used for the bronzer. I'm going to pick up the blush shade from the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzer palette. The blush is actually pretty low, so I'm going to brush this right under the apples of my cheekbones and bring it back. And what I like about her makeup is that her blush and her bronzer mesh so beautifully together so you really can't see. I feel like her whole look in general is just so blended out like that you really can't see where anything starts and finishes. Now lastly for the lips, I'm going to start off by taking the Pixi Shea Butter Lip Balm in the shade Honey Nectar. I'm just going to quickly apply this onto my lips. 
Not only does this hydrate the lips, but I like that it adds a nice little neutral color to the lips as well, which is awesome because it's the perfect base for this lip color combination that we're going to create. So for the lip color, I'm actually going to go in with the e.l.f. Runway Ready Lip Palette. So it looks like this. I'm going to take a mixture of the pink and nude shade with the little lip brush that it comes with. Just going to mix them together to create the perfect little cocktail for my lips. So I'm just going to apply that onto my lips and then blend it out with my finger. And I wanted to add a gloss to my lips because it does look like she has some sort of gloss with a hint of shimmer in it. But for some reason I didn't have a drugstore lip gloss. So instead I'm going to take this e.l.f. lip shaper lip definer. It has two ends. One of them is nude and it has some shimmer in it. So I'm going to just take this on my finger, just kind of rub that product in and then dab this onto my lips. And then to seal everything in, I'm taking the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I'm just going to mist this all over my face to lock in the makeup. And that completes this makeup look. So now we can move on to the hair. And for an extra bonus, you can take your eyebrow pencil to create the same little mole that Blake Lively has right next to her nose. So for Blake Lively's hair at the People's Choice Awards, um, it was actually just straight and it was a little messy. So straight and messy is what we're going to go for. And she wore a center part. So I just tied up my hair so that I could have it sectioned off. And I'm just going to quickly run through my hair with a flat iron. This is the GHD flat iron. You guys, I this is the longest I've ever had a single flat iron. It has lasted me so long. It is such a good, reliable flat iron. At the same time, it, it's one of the most expensive ones I've ever owned. But... I mean, for good reason. It it works. It's amazing. So what I'm going to do is just quickly straighten all of my hair. And then once my hair is down and straight for styling, I'm just going to add some texture spray to the ends of my hair. And since her roots were actually a little darker than what mine are right now, because I just recently got my hair done, so my roots are fresh right now, I'm actually going to go in with the NYX Pressed Pigment in Hot Black and then just a fluffy brush. I'm going to lightly take that so it just adds that subtle rooted look. Now to add some texture to the hair, I'm actually going to go in with the Ren Pure Coconut Water Sea Salt Spray. I'm just going to shake this up and I'm just going to spray this on the bottom half of my hair. Sea Salt Spray is also great if you have um, really thin hair. It adds a lot of texture and like a slight thickness to your hair. Okay, so once we have that product in our hair, I'm just going to crunch my hair upwards. Kind of shake it out as it's drying in the hair. And it's just going to give us that volume and texture. So I'm just going to keep messing with my hair like this until the product completely dries in my hair. And once it's completely dry, that is going to wrap it up for this hairstyle look. So here is what my hair looks like once the product is dried. So it's still straight, but it's not like pin straight and there is some texture there, which is how Blake Lively's hair looked at the People's Choice Awards. So that is it for the hair and makeup. So we can go ahead and move on to the outfit. So for the outfit, Blake Lively had a beautiful, sparkly, fringe, lace dress. There was so much detail going on and it was beautiful. And obviously I couldn't find an exact dress like that unless I wanted to spend like a ton of money. But instead I found this beautiful black fringe dress from Toby.com. It's very comfortable and casual. This is definitely one of those dresses you can dress up or dress it down. So you can dress it up with high heels and a bunch of awesome accessories. And for this look, I didn't have matching earrings, but I have these giant silver earrings that I believe I got from Forever 21. I'll try to list something similar in the description box and on my blog. And I also have these heels that I got from Toby as well. They kind of match her strappy pointed high heels. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because it would just make me very, very happy. And I also have some awesome videos planned for you guys that I don't want you to miss. So make sure you subscribe and hit the little notification bell. And also let me know in the comments which celebrity would you like me to style Jack next. And I think that's all I have to say. So thank you guys again for watching this video. I love you so, so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.